What's up? It's Skidaro here with more Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we entered this rundown building full of normal trainers and found out that Duking's Puzzle has been kidnapped by Mirabi. In this episode, we're hopefully going to find both of them and rescue the missing Puzzle. So let's do it! Alright, so I'm just going to switch out Umbreon and Espeon for Flaffy and Quilava and from my team again. And... Right now, there are two ways to go. This guy, way right here, which is blocked by this guy, which we can't really get past right now. And then there's, well, the only real option is to go through this door right here. You know, the one where we saw that cutscene with Mirabi talking to the guy from uh, Phoenix. Now, before we go in here, I have to warn you. You're going to want to make sure you go back downstairs and use the healing machine. And you might want to save too. Because, I'm not going to lie, there's going to be some shadow Pokemon to be caught in here. Aw, oh, crap, I spoil it. Whatever, let's just go inside. It's Silva! They captured him! Darling, aren't you the one with Duking's people? What made you think that you could simply vault in here? Such a silly boy. Oh, looks like these are two more of his peons. Hmm. Grr, where, where's Mir B? I'm taking him down. See, I knew Silver had a good reason for taking the gear. It's because he didn't want the Coliseum giving out Shadow Pokemon anymore. Such a noble guy. You wait, I'm going to drive all of you out of this town. You tell those people. Ah ha ha! Oh, such a feisty boy. Don't tell me we have to take your Pokemon hostage to make you settle down like we did with Duking. See, what'd I tell you? Well, what? And the camera pan to see that we're in the room! Epic camera pan! Ooh! We seem to be getting a lot of unexpected company today. But that's no excuse for being a bad host. And we must fight! Mirabi Peon Reef! Two more of Mirabi's Peons. So let's just battle with them. So we'll start off with a Memoraid and a Spinarak. I should have brought Espeon out here, but... Whatever, I have Quarlava, and Quarlava can easily take care of that. Yeah. Anyway, her shadow Pokemon is... Remoraid! Okay! Two things about this Remoraid. My opinion, and... Well, the warning about it. Well, first, the warning. The warning is that Remoraid is at level 20. Yeah, it's even lower than Umbreon Espeon was at the beginning of the game. Making it one of... Well, it's a tie between another Pokemon but the lowest leveled shadow Pokemon in the game. Now, Remoraid is a weird Pokemon. It has one of the weirdest evolutions in Pokemon history, evolving from a fish to an octopus. Yeah, only in Nintendo. Yeah. Right. Remoraid, I don't know. I want to call it a bad Pokemon. It does know a pretty good amount of moves, a pretty good amount of beam moves. Yeah, it can learn like almost every beam. The only, one, the only one I don't think you can learn is Solar Beam, but whatever. Alright, so we're just got Thunder Wave to make this a lot easier, and we're going to take out the Spinarak right here with our Flame Wheel. There it goes! Again, I feel a little bit sweet about this because Spinarak is one of my favorite. I explained all of this before. And she will send out a Love Disc in its place. Now, don't get me wrong, when 5th Gen was just coming out, yes, I did think the Pokemon Alomomola was the evolved form of Love Disc, and was pretty disappointed that I found out it wasn't, because it's just another one of those generic water types that doesn't really need to be a Pokemon. But whatever, it's just a fill up the disc. Ugh, Pokedex. Whatever, I'm just going to take out Love Disc right here and switch out Quilava with Espeon. Espeon. The reason why I want to is because, I mean, Espeon has Swift on it. And Swift being a move that hits both Pokemon on the field. Okay, here's how Swift goes and other moves that hit both Pokemon on the field. Swift's power is usually 60, but it gets divided up between the two Pokemon. Uh, oh, great. I already defeated Love Disk. Great. Oh, no matter. I really hope I don't defeat this Remori because this is another one of those Pokemon we're not going to be seeing until the after game. I mean, like I said, all Shadow Pokemon be can be caught at another opportunity. There is just no... There is no po Shadow Pokemon that's a one-time chance thing. You always catch them at another time. 
so I'm going to risk it and actually throw a Pokeball at it. I would choose a Great Ball, but hey, it's level 20. Why should I waste the effort? I'm going to switch out, and I'm going to use Helping Hand, because using Helping Hand while throwing a Snag Ball is somewhat of a thing with me, because we need help catching this Rumbore. Alright. Hopefully, I'll catch it in one shot. It's paralyzed. It got... Of course! It doesn't work. Uh, I'll probably just cut until I finally catch the thing. So, yeah. Oh, wow! That was actually my second try, too. I thought this would take longer, but it didn't. Whatevs! We beat Mirabee Peon Wreath. A step up from the boys. How'd that happen? Unbelievable! I'm unbelievable. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to break out in song. My Pokemon could muster a thing. You're no ordinary trainer. Yeah, that's right. I have the snag machine with me, which makes me automatically awesome. Bodyguards. Let me warn you, if you mess with us, you better be prepared for consequences. And this is Mir uh, uh, the fourth of Mirabee's Peons, Firma. Such a weird name. This is not a Mantine. I already had the name Pong. Hello. <laughs> Whatever, her second Pokemon is Apon. I was going to say, like, Mantide had a Remore stuck onto it, but that's how Mantide is. And her Shadow Pokemon is... Mantine! Yes! Now, Mantine right here is actually a very good Pokemon. It's a specially defensive tank, and can really take those special attacks like no business. And overall, it's just a really good water type. If you did catch Croconaw in Phoenix, I definitely recommend this one as well, next to Quagsire. Yeah, well, Quagsire is slow, but... I, I feel like it's kind of weird to be catching Mantine with another Remorites. It's like we're catching two Remorites at the same time. Alright. Okay, so unlike other battles, I am going to focus on catching the Shadow Pokemon in this one. Of course, I set it out with using a Flame Wheel on a Palm, but, yeah, who cares. And since it's a specially defensive tank, I might as well just unleash my special attack onto it. And I kind of, I kind of figured... Oh, wow, that's... I think that's the first time we've seen the fainting animation for Quilava in this LP. Alright, I'm going to send out Espion right here. Ah, uh, as I said, Espeon's my favorite evolution next to Umbreon. Ironic, I know. Anyway, I'm going to set up a Paralyze on Mantine so it'll be easier to catch. Like I said, if you... Eh, small burp. If you, uh, <laughs> lay down a stat element on the Pokemon you want to catch, it'll make it a lot easier to catch. Alright. Now, what I recommend you do before coming into this building is actually lower the heart gaze down to zero of the shadowiness. Just because you do want to acquire access to all those moves. Uh, where you can lower its heart gauge, not only by battling it and calling it with, when it's going into hyper mode, but you can. There's a couple more ways you can lower a heart gauge. Just by walking alone lowers the heart gauge a little bit. Hence why when I battled with Noctowl and Flaffy in that introduction to Shadow Pokemon battle I did, they already had some of their sha I mean, heart gauge lowered. Yeah. Here's a Furret. Uh, lower level than mine, but I get honestly careless. Uh, I should really be careful with this because Mantine's a water and flying type. Don't know how that works. And really, um, if you have, if you catch this Mantine, oh, that's perfect. At actually, no, that's not that bad. Which means I don't have to worry about uh, knocking it out with Flappy's Thunder Shock. Now, Flappy's Thunder. Well. I said before, like, Shadow Rush covers up another one of the Pokemon's moves. You'll be surprised on what it covers up on Flaffy. Just wait and see. Let's a Psychic on... <laughs> confusion on... Man, I keep confusing Confusion for Psychic. Probably because it's a Psychic move and everything, and that on Psychic. I'm just used to seeing Psychic. Oh. Uh, I don't know whether to be happy or bummed out that got confused. But, I don't know. Cross Chapa. There! 
Ah, uh, didn't do that much damage. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what it does. And it hurts itself confusion. And as you can see, the little guy right there just goes flying about every time it gets it. Alright, I'm going to try catching it in a Great Ball right now. I'm not going to do the glitch because I do have a hefty amount of Great Balls thanks to that treasure chest down there. Oh yeah, back down in the lower levels of this burned down building, there were a couple treasure chests. One contained a few Great Balls and another contained a Revive. Just letting you know. Whatever, let's just throw the Snag Ball and get over it. I did promise myself that when I caught the Shadow Pokemon in a fight and the trainer had more Pokemon that I would cut our head to win the battles. Over with! Oh, almost had it! Arrgh. Whatever. Probably would have been better if I uh, put it to sleep with Noctowl's Hypnosis. By the way, I really haven't been using uh, Noctowl that much. But I will soon. I will soon. And you'll see why. Alright. Let's just hopefully catch Mantine the next... Oh, wow, another Yanma! Nice. Okay, hopefully I won't be screwing myself with that confusion it has on it. It's Makuhita. Like I said before, I don't care about Makuhita. And you're probably all wondering why I... When I talk down on Makuhita so much, why do I still have that in my party? Well, it's because, like, here's my tip for when playing Pokemon. Always have a full team, whether it's for Pokemon you want for your permanent team, or Pokemon you don't. Just have a full team. You'll thank yourself later. I know I can't replace Makuhita with another Pokemon, but it's our first Shadow Pokemon we ever caught. We, yeah, ever caught, so... Yeah. It's, it's a little sentimental. Where did I get the word sentimental from? CURSEDDICTIONARY.COM! <laughs> Whatever. Okay, hopefully. One, two, three. There we go! Manti was caught. And like I said before, I will skip the rest of this battle because her last Pokemon is Nyama. I don't feel like showing it. So I will see you after the battle. After she does the Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Sonic. Why did I start singing that song? Okay, this Yama has speed. See, I told you Yama can have compound eyes or speed. So yeah, I'll see you after the battle. Ooh, Umbreon grew to level 32. That is cool as a snow cone. And Espeon grew to level 32 too, but I didn't really pay attention to that. <laughs> Silly me. What just happened? Unbelie Unbelievable 2, the sequel to Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, yeah, if it wasn't for that too, they would have had the same text, but that would have been something. Wreath, let's make ourselves scarce from this time being. Radio, Firma! Ultra Super Fast Dash! You call that a fast dash? I've seen faster. Anyway, we could check on Silva right here, but if we come over here, we'll see... Another Infile! Alright, Infile, yes. Infile S. We will read this. Shadow Pokemon. A Shadow Pokemon is a Pokemon that has been made into a fighting machine by artificially shutting the door to its heart. What we didn't know is that the Shadow Pokemon ex... ex... Yeah, ex... 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. A dark aura that can't normally be seen by a human eye. ex a weird word. Unfortunately, a girl with the ability to see this dark aura has been discovered. This is a major problem. The girl could become a huge obstacle for our Shadow Pokemon plan. A solution to this threat is urgently needed. Shadow Pokemon Lab, Chief Ian. Again, we'll know who Chief uh, Ian is later. But right now, let's talk to Silva right here. Right now. Ugh, ow. Thank you. You saved me. Do you people know Duking? Of course we do. Duh. Who doesn't? Anyone who doesn't is stupid. Okay, I'm a fool. I didn't know what was happening at all. They take a Dookie's Pokemon hostage. How could they do something so downright dirty? Looks like he finally realizes the error of his ways. I'm going to... Ugh, ow, ow, ow. Not in your condition. You have to wait here. And on the screen is Mirror B doing the point and click. <laughs> I honestly forgot the name of that move, but whatevs. <laughs> we beat the game, kiddies! M Mirror P, you cowardly cheat! Of 
course he's a cheat. Cowardly cheat! That's so not true! Taking a hostage is perfectly fine as a bargaining tactic! Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. You call that a tactic? Plus, it had better be okay! Oh, that darling could have been any safer if I tried! I'm sure it would come to adore me before too much longer! You gotta be kidding! Where is it? Give it back! Oh wait, that was Silva's voice, I'm sorry. <laughs> no running or hiding from me! Come to the cave, that's where I'll be! Yeah, that rhymed. I'll be waiting for you, my pretties! <laughs> well, we'll be waiting. Well, we'll find you. In the next episode, yes. Well, before I go, I do want to show this off. Come in here, there's an elevator that will take you to the bottom of the building right here. And at the bottom, if you come out of the elevator, we'll see a treasure chest! What could be in it? Oh, okay, well, of course we have to do it from the front. Like a normal treasure chest. Three hyper potions! That's cool. Now, I'm just gonna warn you. If you exit out this door right here, it will close behind you, and you can't get back up. Which means you're gonna have to go through this building all over again. Thankfully, you already beat the trainers in here, so you don't have to fight them again, unless you leave the town and come back in this building. So, yeah. Alright! We got a lot of battling done this episode, and I am pooped. So, next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we're hopefully going into the cave and find Mirror B and the Hostage Plusle. So, see you then!